You know, so many times we miss opportunities to add flavor to things. And I'm going to talk about some pies today, but pie shells specifically, because we work real hard putting flavors in the pie filling or on the topping, or but the shell itself or the dough for the pie, very seldom do we think about how to flavor it. And if you match it with what's in the pie itself, can be absolutely spectacular. I'll give you an example of one of my favorites. This is mustard. And this is honey. And I'll tell you, you put a combination of mustard and honey in a pie shell, and it's just spectacular. Also, what you can do is, when you put the mustard in, you put it in the dry mix like I have here. And then when you put the honey in, you put it in right at the end of the mixing. And of course, it's very important not to overmix pie. So when you put the honey in, just let it turn real slow, or just mix it real slow with your hands and let it get absorbed. Also, you can put mixed seasonings in it, which I'm going to do with this one. This is a blend of herbs and spices, and the sweet spices in it as well as chilies in it. And so we're going to just put it right in. Now, we have the chardon in here, and it's little bitty balls. And all we got to do now is add cold water and then just let this settle down. You don't want to put too much, uh, too much water in it. Just add this cold water to it and let it just settle down and ease in there and all come together. And don't overmix it because you don't want to develop the starch too much. And that's good cooking, good eating, and good loving. We love you guys.